Most games appear and disappear without much notice. Some games catapult to success, but drag on their franchise unnecessarily long. This game falls comfortably in between, with only two notable entries within this series. Despite being unable to capture the magic in its sequel, the original ranks among many players' top games of all time. This is The Legend of Ligaya Iceberg. Comparison to Silent Hill Many fans have compared the body horror of this game to Silent Hill. For example, the Seru turn into parasitic monsters that get into people's skin and corrupt their brains. Because of this, the people turn into limping and moaning zombies. On the other hand, the final form of Songi looks like the manifestation of dementia in physical form. For example, the torso is slender, long, and the ribs stick out. Besides that, the legs look as if they will never be functional again. One of the legs of Songi is twice the size of the body, and the other is half the size, making it look as if they broke and grew back incorrectly. Cord is also not safe from this body horror, as he has snake heads for his hands. Besides that, the arms, shoulders, and tail end have glowing red eyes. Of course, these are just some of the body horrors players will find in the game. There are many others that lead fans to compare the game with Silent Hill. Lapis One Shot Fans of the game love finding glitches to make it easier to do essential things. For example, there is a way players can quickly kill Lapis during a battle. The possibility arises through the use of magic. Players can use magic during the fight with Lapis, even though it will reduce the MP to 0 of 0. Players must first escape the fight using a Chicken King or the Spikefish Flute. After that, they must enter the battle once more to kill Lapis. When players re-enter the battle, the MP will be back at zero, but they can now restore the MP and cast as many spells as they prefer. According to many players, the top choices to kill Lapis at the time are Jido, Naito, or Aluru. Players can use these to kill Lapis during the battle instantly. It's a tactic not many people know about, that one can easily use to their advantage during the battle. The Evolving Attacks Like many other RPGs, The Legend of Lagaya will enable players to use spells to kill enemies or protect themselves. The spells will also increase as players level up, even though the rate will be slow. In addition, players will learn damage boosts, buffs, debuffs, and much more. Because of the use of arts in the action bar, players can use more elaborate strings of arts, kicks, punches, and more. Keep in mind that Gaia can only use two attacks per turn without spirit. However, both of them can perform 12 to 15 separate hits per turn by chaining stronger arts together. Such evolving attacks have helped players to play the game smoothly. The Mystery of Court Court remains a mystery in the game because he does not drop in until the end. When players defeat the second boss early on in the game, Court is given his position and name. However, the heroes have no clue who he is or what he is doing in the story until the game progresses and comes closer towards the end. That is why when Court appears, no one knows much about him as he is the ghost of the story. According to many fans, it almost seems as if he waits for the entire game to come towards the end and surprise everyone. But, of course, we still don't know why he came this way and the reason behind the developers creating Court in such a manner. Healthy Family Life While this is not an obscure fact, these are little details many players miss while playing the game. Most RPG characters will have complicated relationships with one another and their parents. However, that is not the case in The Legend of Lagaya, as all players have good parents. For example, Vaughn's father constantly reminds him how proud he is of him, and how much the late Nora loved him. On the other hand, Noah's parents love her unconditionally, as they resist the mist to communicate with her even though she is on the other side. Besides that, Zalon has a loving relationship with Pepe even after staying separate for more than a decade. Meaningful Names The tactic of meaningful names is nothing new in the RPG world. Many games use these tactics to add some depth to the story and characters. However, many players are not familiar with the meaningful name of some characters in the game. For example, Noah was supposed to be named Noah. He also has a miracle art known as Noah's Ark, but according to fans, it is highly likely that this was done to avoid a gender blender name. Juggernaut is another character that lives up to the potential of his name. After all, he is a giant Simseru who is the size of a big mountain. His strength is unparalleled, and he is faster than anything else. Many fans state that one cannot face this character. It is better to just flee and save yourself during an encounter with Juggernaut. Finally, Rogue is a former Ra Seru who turned towards evil. He went rogue against the will of Taig, and the rebellion led to the destruction of the human world. All these character names have powerful meanings and reasons for their name. The Difficulty Level of the Game 
The Legend of Lagaya is a fairly challenging game compared to other RPGs. The game's battling system is unique, and it is complex to acquire new spells and magic. Besides that, players must manage two unique resource pools, AP and MP. The money inside the game will come at a slow rate, and the equipment stores have high prices that many players can't easily afford. Players also must level up to defeat enemies, and the bosses will spare no mercy on the characters. Because of this, the game is challenging, and many players will not notice this till they have progressed far into the game. According to fans, the developers created this difficulty level purposefully. The intention was to ensure players are skillful and utilize the highest potential of the characters. Fun as Chronic Hero Syndrome Chronic Hero Syndrome is when people want to right every wrong and help every person in need. Many RPGs use this syndrome for players to add a character with some depth and personality. While being a hero is a positive trait in many cases, sometimes it has its negative effects, even during a game. Ever since Vaughn was a child, he wanted to help everyone around him. Because of this, he is also rash when helping people close to him. Vaughn snuck out of Rimelm during his childhood to get water for his dying mother, as that was his last hope. However, Vaughn's father had to sacrifice his legs to save him because of this. Besides that, the pillar holding Hari's residence is about to collapse, and Vaughn rushes to save them, but Gala blocks him during this attempt. Court was once a fallen hero. While Court is the main antagonist of the Legend of Lagaya, he was not always this way. There are fallen heroes in many RPGs to add more depth to the character. Court is a prime example of a fallen hero who is now hostile and bitter. Court was a kind-hearted and genuine child who became a patriotic and ambitious scientist who dedicated his life to winning a war during his early years. However, all of this changed for Court when he came into contact with Rogue. Little did he know that being in cahoots with Rogue would be the destruction of his kindness and genuineness. During his contact with Rogue, Court causes the death of countless people. Almost all RPG antagonists have a fallen hero story like Court. Zora is a tragic maiden. While Zora is the co-conspirator of spreading the mist throughout the world, she is also hopelessly in love with Court. However, the most tragic end to her unrequited love story occurs when she crawls towards the mist generator. During this time, Songi lets Zora know that Court is not in love with her and will never be. He also uses Zora as a pawn and then kills her on the spot. Such a tragic end is something no one sees coming during the game. Many fans feel that this is a fitting end, because of all the destruction she causes when she spreads the mist throughout the world. Songi Super Modes Super modes happen when there is a temporary change in the character, and they become visibly different and stronger. Songi also has super modes, and he has two modes that many fans find strange. For example, the first super mode makes Songi look like his standard form, but it also seems as if he has aged more than 60 years, as he has a slouch and gray hair. During the first super mode, Songi's Seru also grows half the size of the body and covers the whole arm. The second super mode is also strange. In this mode, Songi has misshapen limbs, visible bones, and he looks like a monster. While the wild variation of super mode aesthetics is unexplained, some theorize the final form of Songi was inspired by Genova, from FF7. Unique Victory Poses All characters have a few victory poses, depending on their health. For example, most of their poses range from triumphant and happy, to exhausted with a hint of relief. Because of this, if a character has low health, players might witness the exhausted yet relieved victory pose. Gala and Noah have a unique victory pose that only plays once during the game. The unique victory pose of Noah takes place when players defeat Court for the first time. On the other hand, the unique victory pose of Gala comes when players defeat Songi for the final time. Keep in mind that players don't have to use these characters to kill Court and Songi to see their victory pose. Players will notice the pose even when they don't use Gala and Noah to deal the final blow. Each character has a weapon they favor. To get better at the game, players must understand the weapon of choice of the characters. All characters have a specific weapon that they favor more than the rest. Even though there are some weapons all characters can use, they might not be proficient at them, which is why players will have to utilize more of their arms bar. For example, the weapon of choice for Vaughn is a sword and a few fists. Besides that, Noah's weapons of choice are claws and ferals. Finally, Gala's weapons of choice are maces, clubs, and axes. When it comes to Noah, she is a human, which is why these are not natural weapons for her. However, these weapons are not unlike spiked knuckles. So, players should choose these weapons for the characters. The Stories of Tragic Monsters Tragic monsters are characters players hate to see turning into monsters, but there is no choice. For example, 
The vast majority of Serus were benevolent creatures before the mist entered the world. Serus and humans lived together in peace and harmony as they had a mutualistic relationship. Because of this, the involuntary madness and the final extinction of the Seru become even more tragic. But, of course, they are not the only tragic monsters in the legend of Lagaya. Another tragic monster is Gaza, who is a powerful swordsman. When the party defeats Gaza, Songa takes him away. However, Gaza shows up once more, but he is under the influence of Sim Seru. Again, the party has to defeat him because he turns into a monster due to this influence. When the party defeats Gaza once more, he suffers fatal blows and has many lethal injuries all over his body. However, as he takes his last breaths, he makes a necessary sacrifice to save his city before he dies. Evil or an unwilling host Some characters are born evil, while others are made to be evil against their will. However, one of the questions many fans ask is if Prince Court is evil at heart, or is he this way because of the control of Rogue Seru on him? Unfortunately, we will never know, but there are fan theories around this discussion. For example, the game does let the players know that the Rogue Seru take in unwilling hosts. However, the game does not hint towards the fact that Court is actually evil, or is it all because of Rogue Seru? Fans also theorize that Court is a small fry in the game, which is why he may have been evil all along. The Merciful Death of Noah's Parents Noah's parents fuse with the humongous Simseru and request the player to destroy the final mist generator to save the world. Besides that, there is also a request to kill the Simseru during this plan. But, of course, when that happens, the parents will also die in the process. According to fans, Noah's parents did this because the pain would become unbearable to tolerate when all of this would take place. So, of course, death would be the preferable option. Because of this, the parents have a merciful death, as the other option would have been excruciating for them to bear. The Remake With the recent inability to create new and exciting titles, we're seeing a wave of older pieces of entertainment revisited and remade. Along with that has come an examination into games that should be considered for a remake, and Legend of Lagaya is on many players' lists. So much so, that one super fan is taking the initiative to create a modernized remake of the game. The project started in August of 2019 and has finally reached a point of playability for the public. The creator admits it's not being developed for monetization means, solely as a passion project. But that doesn't mean we'll see anything official. As much as fans would love to see a remake, it doesn't seem likely. Currently, anyone can buy the legendoflagaya.com domain, and the trademark status for the game is currently set as cancelled. All of these things seem to point towards a bleak outlook for any rekindling of this great game. Despite the lack of developer support for the game, fans remain devoted, and even though it doesn't seem likely that we'll see any future entries in the series, crazier things have happened, and we'll always have the original, as well as the projects created in its honor. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and let me know what subjects you'd like to see covered next.